Hello from a part of the country where passion for the game is very real. We're here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Mansfield Town, and they take on Rotherham United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. An effective challenge. Lucas Aikens. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. It's a weighted pass. Quick ball almost on along the ground. Terrific save. Well, that's a top class save. He read it so well. Now sending it in. Promising pass. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, a superb save. Lucas Aikens. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Rathbone. He's got space. Could play it in. It comes to absolutely nothing. Giving it a try. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Stephen Quinn. Matty Longstaff. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Chance to take the lead. Oh, look at that. They've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far, but they're certainly not complaining about the scoreline. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Number seven, Jamie Murphy. Oliver Rathbone. Freddie Ladapo. Alert defending. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Murphy. And he did well to cut it out. Oliver Rathbone. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. But just like that, possession changes hands. In possession, Oates. A sloppy pass.
Promising looking ball. How can they create something? This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball is rolling again at one all. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. In possession, Oates. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. It's a weighted pass. Substitution for Rotherham United. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Coming onto the pitch, number 17, Shane Ferguson. Matty Longstaff. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. But it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Shot attempted. Making sure it didn't get past him. Oh, strong hand on the ball. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. And he takes on the shot. Still a chance. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, they might be piling on the pressure but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. There's a slide draw pass! How can he take them on and beat them? Good-looking ball, and the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And they're making a change. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Ben Wiles, to be replaced by number 16, Jamie Lindsay. Played over. Fruitful looking attack. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, this is such a good watch. Both teams have played their part in a great game with plenty of good forward play. I'm sure we'll see more goals before the end. Lindsay. Happy birthday to 
That's a well struck pass. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And that's how to deal with finesse. Well, it's an easy save for the keeper. It wasn't the best option, that's for sure. 20 minutes to go. And McLaughlin with it. And he read it well. Oh, moving it nicely. Of danger here as he runs at them. And can he find someone at the far post? Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Lucas Aikens breaking at pace. Decent position. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Sliding in, winning the ball, and what's more, they've kept it. And space for them here on the flank. Right towards the back post. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Well, they've decided to make a change. There it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Five minutes to go. Wesley Harding. Ladapo. Well, they know they need to stop him. Will it happen for them? couldn't capitalise there and showing good defensive judgement and he couldn't quite get himself back on side Stuart well as a player you need to be able to change your mind but he wasn't able to and that's a poor pass So a personnel change then. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.